We're back in South London and honestly, this one is a vibe. It's a New York style four bedroom house with three bathrooms and it has a mezzanine overlooking the kitchen. Big shout out to Location Creation and 2T for giving us access today. Let's go inside. As you go through the door, you enter into the hallway and we're gonna swing straight round into the living room. You're instantly met by this little sitting space over here, which has this light feature that's really unique. This house has been designed with a boho theme, Soho housey, and with boho, you get all these different pastel colors and patterns, and it's very obvious when you are in a boho themed environment. The focal point of this room though, I think, is this fireplace. So although it's modern, they've retained the Victorian fireplace, which is great. And I also love the way that they've tucked the TV in the corner rather than putting it on top of the fireplace because it really doesn't detract from the, from the fireplace at all. The other thing that I love about this room are the huge bay windows and they've got these really lovely shutters that you can shut on each one. As you move out of the living space and walk down the hallway, you drop down. As we've seen in a lot of these London houses, they're all on different levels, which brings it a character. But you step up again, and you enter into that mezzanine area that I was telling you about. Things that really stick out to me from here are how high the ceilings are. They're double height ceilings with skylights going across the roof. You've got one here, three going across there. You then got a view out onto the courtyard, which I think is beautiful. Yeah, I just think it's so awesome to have a mezzanine area that overlooks because it really opens up the space and makes it feel like you're in a New York apartment. The other things I'd just like to mention are these massive hanging lights. So, I mean, I'm not quite sure how long those are. Probably, I don't know, would you say three meters long, hang, dangling from the ceiling, going down into, which almost connects the space. I feel like, weirdly, those lights are, are keeping the space and, and making it all fit together really nicely. Before I show you how beautifully designed it is down there, let's jump upstairs. I want to show you some of the features. Follow me. So as we go up the stairs and enter the first floor, they have a walk-in wardrobe. And then through here is the first bathroom. I would just like to point out how cool these tiles are. I mean, with the boho theme that we've seen, it's all about exposed brick, lofty vibes. And I feel like this mimics exposed brick. You've then also got this really unique gold rainfall shower head, which I've never really seen before. Coming out of the first bathroom, you then go up another flight of stairs. Again, the character of these Victorian homes is that they're all on different levels and there's usually about four or five floors of, of various different rooms. Through here, you've got the master bedroom, which the things that instantly jump out at me is the design, the boho theme. You've got different textures and patterns on the pillows and the cushions. I love that bed frame. And then I love the shape of this mirror too. It just represents boho really well. And then look at the light fitting. So nice, where it almost feels like draped curtains going round. If you follow me through here, wow. One sec, go back a sec. I almost want to show you how these doors open because it feels unique. I'm not quite sure how you shut them. There we go. Come have a look at this. You swing these doors open and wow, you enter into this stunning bathroom that they've obviously really thought about the way that it's all designed. But the thing that instantly reaches out is this beautiful marbled shower. They've got a very similar rainfall shower head to the one we saw in the first bathroom, but it's actually a bronze color, but it's very unique. And then obviously the thing that jumps out is this huge Lusso bathtub, which I don't know, when I go around these properties, I find them so inviting that I just have to jump in. So here we go, cut to the reel of me sitting in the bathtub. And here we are, oh, it's huge. I think this could be the biggest one yet, apart from the... Yeah, let me just... Look at that. I can almost lie down fully, which is, which is mental, but... Yeah, as I'm lying here, you've got such an amazing view of that marble. This is really unique. I mean, it looks... I wouldn't say this is boho, it looks kind of Victorian. But look at the way that is, it almost looks like a phone. Hello? Let's go check out what's on the next floor. 
But if you follow me up here, I mean, look at these pastely green banisters that run throughout. So nice. But here you have bedroom number two, which is called the green room. It's all painted in a green pastely color with green bedding. And then as you get, I think, to the fourth floor, you've got the third bedroom here with the theme continuing. Look at this light fitting. How cool is that? But we're now in the eaves of the property. This room feels really cozy. I mean, I love these. I love these. I'm not sure what they're called, but they really fit the theme of the house. Every single inch of this house has been meticulously designed with this boho theme. And then as you come out the third bedroom, you cross the hall and you're into the fourth bedroom. So this property used to be five beds, but they actually converted the other room into the walk-in wardrobe that we showed you before. But again, lovely design room, all in keeping with the rest of the house. It's just great. And as I look out this window, I can see the view of the surrounding area and the garden. And if I just prop this open, you can see in the garden, they've got an office which I'm about to show you. So as you come out of the fourth bedroom on this floor, there's actually another bathroom, which is the third one. The things that jump out to me in here, because again, it's beautifully designed, but you've got this really unique flooring, which the boho theme is really eclectic, and that just shows it because it works. You've still got the pastel colors in there, but you've then got this turquoise basin, which is really unique. And then you've got gold trim all around. So you've got gold taps, gold shower head, gold shower, and they've even got a gold toilet flush. Let's go check out my favorite part of the house, the downstairs. So as you get down into this level, you instantly get hit by this beautiful snug. I mean, it's just so inviting to chill, watch some films, watch some sport, whatever you want to do. They've got a huge TV, this crazy inviting sofa another sitting sofa here i mean look at this armchair i mean it's so low down and they've also got this extended bit here oh, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to try it out oh so lovely and as i sit here i'm about to show you what's down there by such a nice view into the rest of the property you can see into the garden into the courtyard area through the kitchen it's just so nice Whilst I'm in this room, I've just noticed they've got these mesh doors, which I think carries on to the kitchen. We'll have a look in a minute. But look how cool that is. Got these really lovely wooden panels, and then you've got this mesh in the middle. But the other cool thing is the way that you open it, which I haven't seen before, is you actually press it in and it opens like that. It's pretty unique. So as you move out of the snug, you enter into this open space here which at first glance doesn't look like they've used the space for very much but that's not true over here you've got a hidden utility room so that's where the washing machine tumble dryer there's another sink in there love the way that it's hidden and they put it behind these lovely colored cupboards and then over here with the same cupboards you've got a hidden laboratory downstairs toilet which again is so in keeping with the rest of the property got a lovely marble basin here and over on this side of the room again they've utilized the space so well so continuing with the hidden theme or that we just saw over there they've got this desk here which actually feels really peaceful and tranquil but the way that it closes very cleverly is you have these folding doors that come either side and yep. there we go turns into an almost wall area here we are the focal point of this property and honestly my favorite area the first thing that hits me is just how high these ceilings are double ceiling height i really hope that comes across on the camera but the thing that hangs it all together, as I set up on the mezzanine, are these big light fittings that come down from the wall. I mean, it's open, it's bright, it's spacious, but at the same time, I don't know how they've managed to achieve this, but it feels cozy and comfortable. So I'm gonna spin you around the kitchen really quickly. So they've got this big island in the middle. All of the appliances 
just like the toilet and the utility room, are hidden behind these really nice blue and gold trim cupboards, which complement each other really well. They've got an open pantry over here, and they've even got a hanging basket of lemons. So I've just found this, which reminds me of the time that I had a trip, but anyway, that's, that's probably for another time. Um, here you've got this massive oven, which looks as how unique that is. It's from La Cornu en France. So it's a French massive oven. Look at that. I mean, it almost looks antique, but so big and so huge. So as you move into this side of the room, they've got this floor to ceiling exposed brick, which I absolutely love. It really transforms the room. I told you guys that it is a New York style apartment. They've gone for the boho New York theme, and this is synonymous with that style. So look at that. The same exposed brick runs throughout to the outside, which covers the whole courtyard. And that brings me really nicely onto this area here. So inviting, it's actually really fun. They've got a fire here. It's covered by a canopy, so you can sit here all year round, and I just think it's awesome. Imagine having a drink, a few friends around, party, fire going. And then over here, they've got a big green egg barbecue, which we've seen in a lot of people's houses. They're really popular to have a barbecue. So as you go up the steps, you enter into the garden area, which they've astroturfed. But as you can see on the end there, they've got a state-of-the-art office built in the garden which we're seeing more and more of as we go through these properties more people are working from home and they require something like this if they're lucky let's have a look so here we have the garden office which as i say more and more people work from home so just look at this space tv desk area sofa pretty much everything you need for an office but it even has which i think is a great touch electric blinds. So that's it for this New York style house in South London. If you like my content, please like and subscribe and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.